Here we are, everybody. The Pure Monster. 26 ounce joint venture between Monster, F5B technology, and Pure Sports barrel technology. This is a 26 ounce. These are prototypes. I don't have any paint on them, so don't panic. It's not what it looks like. But anyway, there you go. Listen to these bad boys. We really need to hire a pitcher. Again, for those just joining, Pure Monster. Actually, I think they settled on Fusion. <clears throat> that sounds fantastic. Yes. Uh, this bat has zero swings. Well, now it probably has, what, 25? What are we hitting? Just classic M's? Yeah. Classic Just M's and uh, X Rocks. Classic M's and X Rocks 44375s. Holy crap. Oh, I'm going to get hit. <laughs> they hit a ball. Holy crap, you're gonna break something. Stay behind that net, Jared. Oh, there's another broken bat pack. Ooh, goodness gracious. Yeah. These harder balls and the exit speeds are insane when you go through the net. Exit speed looks to be really good. Like I said, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 swings on the bat now. No. <clears throat> I believe uh, Pure Sports prototypes have somewhere close to a thousand cuts and all of them still passing compression, which is exactly what we're wanting to do. A high performance bat for you trip that'll get you more than 200 swings without failing compression. I don't, I don't think those exist on the market right now. I know the other ones are failing compression after a couple hundred cuts. <clears throat> Did you just put a hole in the wall? Ooh. In cap. <clears throat> oh, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't hit in cap with that. Give him something to hit, will you? Jesus. There you go. I was trying to hit that. Alright, 
I'm going to get closer to Daco. We're not outside, but I can guarantee you these balls are traveling really far. The, the performance seems to be really good. Going back through the shop. Walk around. Back over here. Oh, I think that was the last one that for this round. Have a seat. So anyway, so far so good. <clears throat> you don't really know what a bat does until you get outside. Every bat looks fantastic inside. So after they get a couple hundred cuts on it, we'll go outside and let the guys drop some bombs. Thing sounds amazing. Uh, probably better off a little bit farther away so you can get a better vantage point. There. Now you see it from the batter's view. Woo. Sounds awesome. Again, for the noobs, this is the uh, pure monster or the fusion. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't suggest right. end capping a bat that doesn't have an end cap. Those balls are getting old and beat up. Woo! Pure freaking fire. Field six has no chance. Right. 260. <laughs> Like I said, this is our first experience with their barrel and our FIB. Literally is our FIB and their barrel. Um, since they make them here and it's a different process, they're able to just insert our FIB right inside and finish the mold process and there, there you have it. Those who swung the pure sports bat without the FIB know it, it the bat performs really, really well. They didn't need any help with performance. Uh, what they wanted to work with us on was having performance and the reliability and durability. And I think that uh, we're going to be very successful with that. Like I said, 
the Pure Sports prototypes have somewhere close to a thousand cuts and are still passing compression right around, I think they've been hovering around the 230, 240 mark for quite some time. And they should never really fail. Like our bats, the bat should break before it, it fails. So hopefully we can get you guys a bat that will actually last an entire season or two and perform um, at the top. That's the goal. Even if we were to have our own U-Triple-S-A bat, we do not have the composite technology for the hard balls that we do for low compression. So our, our bat would not be as good as the Pure Sports bat with our FIB. They just have better uh, compression or a better uh, composite design for hard balls than we do. That's just the facts. So this is a, a good marriage, if you ask me. There's Big Rob. I think he's like 90 years old now. But uh, like I said, back in the day, Rob was one of the premier home run hitters in conference. I don't know, mid to late 90s, I think. Played for Rich's Superior and some other teams. Like, Bob oh, Bob played for Rich's Superior. Uh, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> all the senior teams call him up and get him to play, and he won't come out. He <laughs> just playing days are over. That's about it. We still take him out on our Tuesday night league, and he hits him out of the 330-foot fences with the, those, the worst 52, 300 balls ever made, which is those Dudley SY balls. So he still crushes. Fankel? <laughs> Speaking of which, I got an email. We got to confirm what colors on the batting gloves so they can get into production on them. Chain. Plate. I had my arm out. Ooh, nasty. Like I said, Rob is, I believe, 53 now. Almost. And he still hits the absolute crap out of the ball. But when you're 6'4, 360. Solid, nothing but muscle. It's the end dome. Whew. Those balls are going at least 600 feet. Yeah, that was out of the school. It was elementary school, but it was still a school. Woo! You know, all these senior teams are going to be hitting me up. We want that guy, Rob. Yeah. Rob's like, I can't move. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm out fishing. Oh, that's not Oh my goodness. What? 
I'm telling you, with these harder balls and this bat, it doesn't. I don't feel safe at the other end like I did with the low compression balls. These things are coming off like missiles, and they. Holy crap! Now I'd say the bat's got somewhere around. I mean, there's so much impact. These, the nets being carried into our chain link protector fence that we made, and that's why we made it. And that's got that's two feet. Our, when we swing our monster bats with the, L, the low compression balls. They don't make it to the fence. So these balls are coming off this bat with crazy, crazy exit speed. And, uh, you know, a lot of force behind it. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I think right now we have, we're nearing the 100 swing mark. How many balls do we have in a bag? 30 yeah we're near when we finish when rob's finished there'll be 120 cuts you can hear the bats already starting to make a whole different noise again this is the 26 they're swinging we have a 27 as well we haven't touched yet feels yeah, good yeah it sounds good it sounds amazing In cap a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Any hand vibration? No, it feels good. It feels good. That ball is flying. Yeah, I'm telling you, the balls are coming off this insane. <laughs> and with such force, it's it's gonna beat up the cage. The sound is changing now. This thing, the sound is getting so deep. Ah. You think we ought to invest in an actual home plate? <laughs> Instead of a uh, first baseman's hybrid catcher's glove. <clears throat> Man, it sounded like something broke. No, I'm saying it sounded like it. It sounds great. The only thing I don't hear, I, I don't hear a clack. That's the, 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 it's in there. We can, we can hear it when you hit it, but when you hit the ball, I don't hear the clack. So these bats won't have that distinctive monster clack. It, se it sounds like, or looks like, but, uh, they seem to be very good bats. The, the, the test here is we, we want the bat to get to a certain number of hits and we want it to hold compression that entire time. Otherwise, it's no different than any other bat that's on the market right now. And that's not what we do. And I think that's not what Pure Sports wants either. Do we have the defibrillator handy? Money ball. I seriously were on me to hit that. Oh, that was a smash. You know, I jump in there and take some swings, but I want to break the bat. Yeah, with your uh, one. Carl, I want to see you do it. Nope. What did I say? We're trying to sell bats. What's that? Do we want to hit the three inch now? Yeah, if you guys want to switch, you can to the 27. 
There's going to be a definite difference, I guarantee it. Um, it's best if we can get the 26, I mean, the, the fusion to go a thousand swings with a two inch FIB, that's the way to go. That's going to give you the best performance. Um, if, if, if it doesn't hold up or doesn't hold compression, then you got to go to the three inch and then you can adjust the shell to make it as hot as the two inch was and get more durability, but two inches way to go. All right, so Jer Bear's taking some more hacks. We're officially up to 120 bats on the Pure Monster or Pure Sports Fusion Joint Venture bat. It's not really a joint venture. I, I probably shouldn't state that. We don't have anything to do with it, really. They're just using our technology. That sounded absolutely filthy. That was in cap? Yeah. Felt good? Nope. You got all your fingers? When you take your glove off, you might have a finger sitting in there. All right, let's go to a commercial break. Commercial break, yeah. Let Jared cry for a second. How is it you can come in a game and pitch throw strikes, but in BP you suck balls? He can't throw strikes in a game. Yeah, he can. He doesn't walk many people. The fact that they put 40 up on us when he pitches pretty good. Well, I know why you can't throw your knuckleball. You can, but you don't. Yeah, it's starting to. Uh, well, that's got the 3 inch FIB, so the. It's going to sound different. And it will also take longer to break in. This is the, for those two in one, this is the 27 ounce Pure Sports Fusion bat. It's their barrel technology, RFIB technology. The 26 looked and sounded amazing. Now we're moving on to the 27. Uh, so far, so good. They're testing their bats. They've got prototypes upwards of uh, close to a thousand swings now. Um, performance is great from what I understand and the bats have been sitting at about 240 pounds compression now for several hundred swings so still passing compression. DMAC, the I'll be 50 on friggin Sunday. This is how 50 year olds <laughs> hold phones. That's, that's steady. Yeah. Jared's been hitting box lately. <laughs> 
I think it's a good thing we invested in a good screen. Man, that was just crazy. I don't know how a pitcher could react on that. If it goes in blood, it goes in blood. If it doesn't, though, it's going in his chest or his face. That bat looks every bit as good as the 26. That sounds great, too. All right, we've got like three or four more. Then we'll call it a day, and then we'll pick up again um, once the guys have several hundred cuts on it. And then we'll probably film something outside <laughs> on the stadium. Well, not stadium, but... We have a field local to us that's 325 down the line, 400 dead center. You guys go out and test our, our bats on those fields. So we'll take it out there and see what, what the bat can do. I started laughing before I pitched it. Stay right ahead. Samurai! All right, guys. We'll, we'll be back later. Make sure you press that video. Finish or in video? Okay. Which one? Finish.